Hi, how's it going? Charles Bonestin, founder of Bonestin Properties International. We have covered a lot. We talked about everything you need to get ready, the mind, your mindset, cleaning your home, pricing strategy, the marketing, dealing with brokers, hosting open houses, selling, and now you've had your home. It's marketed correctly. It looks amazing. You have no idea why you're getting contacted by so many brokers and it's still not selling. Why is it not selling? Charles, tell me. I'll just go over some percentages. So 5%, they don't have the time or they don't have the patience. In the beginning, I tried to say, your mindset has to be correct and you have to come from the objective point of view because people are gonna be late, they're gonna criticize your home, they're gonna make fun of it, they're gonna give you low ball offers, brokers are gonna be offensive, it's gonna get emotional. Being patient and having the time is about 5%. That's why a home doesn't sell because you don't wanna show it or host the open houses or whatever the case is, people walking through your house, it's a little weird. So that's 5%, you have to get over that. There's nothing you can do about that. 10%. It's what it looks like. So I, obviously it's known as the curb appeal. It either smells, you have your dog there, there's a cat, there's a litter box, too cluttered or it's too personalized, too much furniture. There's something about the home that just people just can't see past it. That's why you have to ask for feedback. When you get the feedback from an open house, from a showing, from people that are not moving forward, just say, hey, listen, I understand that you're not moving forward, but if you could just provide some feedback as to why or what I could do differently, it is massive. You have to be able to do that. If you don't actually figure out why your home is not selling, it's not going to sell. 20% is the marketing. Did you take your photos on your phone? Or the shots of the apartment are from weird angles? Did you not bring in a professional photographer like I recommended or floor plan person. The description isn't good. It's not being marketed on social media. You put it on Craigslist instead of Street Easy. It's on Street Easy, but it's not on social media. You haven't told the doorman. There's so many ways about marketing. And then here you go, 65% of the time, it's because of the price. We talked about the pricing strategy. There's three types of pricing strategies, overpriced, which it probably is, where it's gonna go, and then underpriced. If it's overpriced, it's quite obvious. No one's made an offer, there's no, there's no showings, no one has contacted you outside of brokers in quite some time. If there goes 17 days and you haven't received an offer, it's overpriced. If you've gone a week without any showing requests, it's overpriced. So if the price doesn't work. You can either change up the marketing and keep the same price. Keep the same price. In other words, get better photos, floor plan, description, put it on street easy social media, host open houses, or you can lower the price. If you get only one to two showings a week, it's five percent overpriced. If you get no showings for an entire week, it's ten percent or more overpriced. If it's a million dollars and you get no showings you have to lower it by at least $100,000. You're like, Charles, that's insane. But if you think about it, if no one's even contacting you, if no one's even wishing to see your house, if they're like, this should be at 900,000 and the, and the seller's at a million, I'm not even gonna go see it. They feel that the seller is not serious. They feel that there's something wrong with the home. Those are the reasons a home doesn't sell. 5% because the time and patience of 10%, it's what it looks like, the curb appeal, too crowded, ugly wall paint. 20% is marketing where it is how it's being marketed, the photos, the description, the floor plan, and then 65% is the price. This is very, very important because after 17 days, you know the feedback. Again, I'm Charles Botenston, founder of Botenston Properties International, also known as BPI. If there's any questions that you have, give us a call, give us a shout out. Charles at Botenston.com is my personal email. Have an awesome day, talk to you soon.